All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video. We're back on the shed to house. So, just to kind of let you know what we're working on, we're going to try to build a set of steps. We got the uh, shed raised up, four half blocks, two full blocks, however you want to look at it. Uh, we're not done yet, but close enough. But I'm going to throw some steps on here. Uh, I tell you guys right now, don't judge me on this. This is just scrap wood, other than the stair stringers. I did buy a new 2x10s. Uh, this is just, I got some scrap 4x4 four four that look new, but they're scrap. They got holes in them <coughs> for the handrails. Handrails are going to be low. I know it's not code. Uh, I don't really care. Just being honest with you. We know what we need uh, as far as my dad goes. You know, he has a hard time getting up steps to get his upper and body to work together. So he kind of needs to push down. And he doesn't want them real high. He doesn't want them normal. He wants them a little bit lower. So it is what it is. All right. Sorry about that brief interruption there. Uh, we're having some problems over at the park. Had a huge tree fall. Uh, might end up doing a video on that. Be kind of interesting for you guys to see, I think. So anyways, like I said... Don't judge me. This is all used stuff. Uh, I'm just throwing something together temporary because eventually what I'm going to do is there's going to be a deck from about there all to about where you guys are. Actually, I'll show you here. Back you up just a little bit. There's going to be a deck as wide as that coming clear out to here. That way, when I come home, I can back up kind of like I am right now I'm using my truck as a work station but I can back up and unload groceries right onto the deck and it'd be pretty easy so this is just temporary so let's get started on this uh, I've already got my four stringers cut I've got a couple used backer boards over there you can see they're old deck boards let's try to uh, see what we can do and get these built and get them up and then we're gonna put some shorter railings on it and we'll just kind of go from there let's get you guys a different perspective here eh, da -da -da -da, round and round and round all right there we go no this is not the way that they go i'm just doing this just to uh get my boards up and I'm trying to think I think I need to start by cutting a little off of each one of these Let's see, I think this one is the one that goes up here I think it'll be perfect. Everything's a hammer.
Boy, it's going right into a big knot. I don't like that.
All right, let's see if we can't get it up there and get it level and get it where it goes. Well, if that would level, it would be about perfect. Well, that's pretty close. That there needs to go down. down just a hair. I can't find my hammer. That right there is good on this side. Get this side done. <coughs> oh, that was a little too far. Go down just a hair past that to be perfect. There we go. Now we'll check the center too just to make sure. Right there's within the bubble. there's within the bubble. It could stand to come up just a hair. Uh, but you just seen what I didn't do. <laughs> I forgot to level it side to side. So let's hope for the best. Oh, wow. According to that, it's not even a sixteenth of an inch off. So we're going to call that a win. All right, so now... Let's see if we can figure out <laughs> the post. The post on this one's going to go outside. And the post on this one, as you can see, you know, they got some holes and stuff in them, but eh, it is what it is. The post on this one is going to go to the inside so I think I need to get a 2x4 well I guess I could use a deck board hmm but we have 2x4 over here Let me think on this for a minute. I'll bring you right back. All right, sorry about that. I keep getting interrupted. So basically what I've done off camera is I notched this end out down here to go around the trim and I got the first board kind of on there. Now we're going to finish putting this board on, put a few more screws in towards the porch and uh, finish decking it putting boards on it so let's get that done 
this board, this top board here was warped a little bit. So I had to push it in. And we're just going to put two in this. I don't think it needs any more than that. Now I did put three down at the other end, but I just wasn't thinking. Get right in your guys' way here for just a second. Now we can put our second one on. Move this jigsaw. Uh, before we put our second one on, let's go ahead and move the board and get down here where we can put a couple more screws. We really don't need them, but I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more in here. Maybe one in each run. They're holding extremely good. Like I said, this is all just temporary and it's used wood and as you can see my run right here ain't that tall but that's the way it come out to have three steps and i'm trying to make it easy that if Paul wants to come in he can uh you know there's enough steps and everything for him to do that comfortably it looks like that one there's going to be bowed too let me try to flip it around see if that helps any just makes it a lot worse. Let's see about another. Let's try this. And there's going to be a little bit of a gap, a little bit of an overhang. That looks better. Check it on both ends. Oh, that one's short. Huh. Well, that's not good. I thought they were all the same length. Up there is about an inch short. Let's try our third option. Go ahead and get that post out of my way. That one's about an inch short. Well, that really sucks. All right, let me go measure some boards. I've got a pile of them over here. And this one here is 72 and a half. So let's see if I can find another one, 72 and a half. All right, so apparently the one 72 and a half is the only one I had that long. So I've already notched it out at that, down at that end. So I'm just going to leave it. At least on that top run. And uh, I'll cut it off later. Let's start on the second run here. And let's see what we've got as far as gap goes down at each end. Right there seems to be straight. So I'm just going to... Kind of distance it about the same. Like I said, these are just scrap boards that were 
You go, guys, go back and watch some old, 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 old videos. They're just scrap boards from uh, where I took the deck off to build my bedroom. Just kind of right over there. <coughs> I may end up cutting a little bit of the lip off of this one at the front also. Uh, I don't know if I mismeasured or was thinking something different at the time. I'm not really sure. But if we have to do that, there's no problem. So that whole top rung right there might be redone. Hopefully these two are the same wear. And they're pretty close. Now this in here, I got the lip correct on it. <coughs> or at least I think I did. Let's, let's double check ourselves. Let's grab another board. Because this is going to have a kick plate on it. But... I might want to gap those just a little bit. <coughs> to let rain. Yeah, I think I did. So I think I'm going to start with the bottom rung right here. And then we'll put the kick plates on. And the kick plates is once again. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. For if it's winter time and he happens to slip, his foot won't go under. But if I created a little bit of a crack in between each one, you know, in between each one of these, then that would allow water to run quicker through them and they, it wouldn't freeze. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Keep it from freezing and causing icy spots. So that one there is about that much. That one there is about that much. So let's go down just a hair, about like that. And we'll go ahead and put this on, then we'll start putting our kick plates on. And that'll allow me to figure out what I want to do up here. And this one here doesn't need to be uh, cut, I don't believe. Yeah, I, I can run my post down at the end of that. I don't really think it matters. So we'll do this, then we'll... Then we'll put our kick plates on. Now I'm not going to be able to paint this today because it's been raining for the last four weeks or four weeks shoot <laughs> four days and we got a lot of rain today so and these have been just stacked over there so they're wet but we'll get it eventually Now, we can start seeing about running a kick plate and how we want it to be 
then we can finish nailing or screwing our top board on our second run. So let's do that. And if this one's a little bit bowed, it's not going to hurt for a kick plate. Oh yeah. Make sure it's the same length. It is. Then I do believe I'll get down here to where I can actually set and I can see maybe I need to flip that forward. This is the one that had a little bit of warpage to it. Just about like that. Oh, that was a loud horn. There we go. Well, I think that's it. bring this out to gap that just a little bit not much I don't want much of a lip I'm trying to create enough of a walk that if he steps up on it, the end of his foot can't catch it. But yet there's still enough of a lift there to be something. And I think I've created that. Which we'll have to do some pretty good cutting on the top one. Which, that doesn't matter. I can do that pretty easy. Might as well just slide on down and continue doing this. Alright, can you guys even see what I'm doing down here? Alright. I'd like to be able to bring that up from where it's warped. Let me see what I can find. Um, I had a big screwdriver out here somewhere. Let me go inside and see what I can find. Hey, Dad. All right, got the top set done. Now I'm working on the uh, handrail here. And like I said, I know it's gonna be low, but that's what I want. That's what's gonna best fit our needs here. And it's not that low, by the way. I'd like to have some three inch screws for this. But I don't have any right this second.
Now, let me go back and see if I can figure out exactly how far I want it in. And I think it's going to be about right there. In all actuality, it should be the width of a 2x4, but it's going to look better to me if it's centered in the middle of that 4x6. And that's what I'm after is for it to look better. So. And we're just going to toenail it right in there. We're not going to worry about any fancy bracket or nothing. Just going to toenail it right in. Hopefully it'll work. It looks good to me. Everything's a hammer. Yeah, I got a hammer there, so we'll go ahead and use it. There we go. Actually, that was too low. There we go. Now, we'll finish screwing it in down here at the bottom. We'll kind of look real quick to see if it's level. I already leveled it before I started. I already had screw, two screws in this. Perfect. And pretty much perfect. Looks like it can be in that way just a little. All right. So now we'll put some screws in the bottom of this. We'll go over and we'll do the other side. And then we'll see about uh, doing the other, the other side, getting it done. Then we got one more piece we've got to put in here. And I may have to take all this rail back off. It all depends on how I'm going to make this work. We'll see here soon. Let me go ahead and put some screws in this. Once we put some screws in it, we can see how stable it's going to be. And it'll be even more stable once I get the deck board on it. in it on this side and then we'll go to this side and I'll put five more That's pretty stable. All right, it's kind of dark out. I don't know if you guys can see it on here or not, but we're going to see what we can do. And I got a feeling I'm getting ready to run out of memory space on this. And I did, I run out of memory. So, all right, 
So we got each one of these on there. They're extremely sturdy. Uh, I was worried about this one over here because it's on, it's on the outside of the stringer where this one over here is on the inside. But I don't know, it, it seems to be doing pretty good. So that's the end that I'm gonna work on first. I went ahead and got my board all ready to go on here. And there is Colton. Hi, Colton. Hi, all right, so there it is. I've got it cut out. And I can already see I made a mistake. No, maybe not. Okay. Let's see what happens when I try to put it in there. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know which one isn't deep enough. I would hope that it would be down here. So, all right, I'm going to try to hog this end out down here a little bit more it just it's missing like by a piece of paper thick all right sorry about that i had to move the tripod i was too lazy to stand up so i think i got it i'm happy with it so we're going to screw it in place so the only accident I made is as you can see this is painted side up <laughs> the rest of them I put painted side down uh, hey it is what it is I didn't even think about it honestly until after the fact Two more and we're done. Um, actually, you know what? I think. Eh, I was going to put one in the center, but there's no point in it. All right, I think I might need to stand up for this one. Because i got to put them down there on that end, which you guys can't even see. All right. Sorry about the lighting. The lighting's going to really suck. I'm going to try not to get in your way while I'm doing this. Oh, let's hope this little piece don't split. And it did. Well, I knew it. Should have pre-drilled. So I have to bring my glue over here tomorrow and glue that. And then I'll drill a hole through it and just put a screw in it. But I knew it was going to happen. That's why I mentioned it. All right. So let's get back. And you guys can see it in a hole. Da, 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 da. How the hell are you seeing? All right, sorry about that. That was kind of abrupt, but I can't control what happens in my surroundings. Uh, anyways, he wanted to know how I could even see, <coughs> which I can't, but there it is. So it's stable. It's sturdy. I mean, I could jump on it. I could do whatever I wanted to. The only thing that I don't like is that little bitty lip step right there. That could be a trip hazard. I don't know. But we'll find out. And the rails, I was going to look it up. Uh,
Let me look that up real quick and I'll get back with you. Okay, well they say the recommended, let's see if I can't get myself in the light where you guys can see me, the recommended height is 34 to 36. I'm 30. So, but it also, in my county, it also goes by how high it is off the ground. And you're supposed to measure times 10, I think. I don't remember how it is. But anyways, this is what come on the building. And all I did was match it. So, if you guys look over here, you can see this is my 30-inch rail height. That's what come on you know, remember this whole thing used to be a big deck and that was part of it to come off there. So I matched it to that and the simple fact of, let's move you back over here. La, da, 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 da. Man, filming in the dark is never fun. He needs help pushing himself up. And if it's six inches or, yeah. Would that be six inches taller? Well, four to six inches taller than what it is. Then he's not at that pushing level. You know, I don't know how often he's going to be in here, but, you know, I don't know. It feels comfortable to me. So, I don't really have to worry about it because there's really no codes for sheds like this yet here. So, and it is only temporary. So I don't really have to worry about it that much. Everything is stable. I mean, it, this is, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing on that hard and it's not moving. Same way over here. Let me get it in camera here. This one here I was going to worry about because it's on the outside of the strainer. Still nothing, no movement whatsoever. And the reason I put it on the outside of the strainer is to match it up with my trim. Here's my trim. I wanted to flow evenly with it. Now, I'll have to sand these off a little bit before I paint them. You know, these will go green to match the top of the rail over there. Everything else will go brown. Probably the post will go green. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to stand back and kind of look at that. That post is green. The trim goes all the way down. It's green. So, yeah, it'll probably be green. But I have some big splinters here. I'm going to try to glue that on there tomorrow. And we've got to glue that one ear on there. So... Uh, so there we have a set of steps. Let's get you down there and look at them one more time. They're not perfect. I think all total, I have 16, 16, 32, no, 12. 12 and 12 is 24. Right, 24, plus I did use a new 2x4. I wish it was treated for the handrails, but it's not. But it is getting painted, so... I kind of went ahead and went with it. It the time I was doing all this, the hardware store was already closed, and I had one of them left over. Back when I bought these two by fours, they were only about three bucks, four bucks at the most. So I got less than thirty bucks in this whole thing. The rest of it's all scraps and used. Uh, the screws I've had left over from other jobs. Like I said, I'm happy. Other than I wish this one painted board was flipped upside down because I like it being painted underneath. That way it, it lasts forever. But it's not, and I don't like that little ledge. That little ledge looks really small on camera. It's probably a four inch ledge. Yeah, I kind of wish, and I, I thought about it, I was gonna run it up level with it. And I thought, no, that would look kind of weird. I wish now to run it up level with it. And I may end up changing that eventually. That wouldn't be that hard to change uh, before winter hits. Of course, now that's going to make this down here, this step down here. You guys can't even see what I'm pointing at. It makes this step down here quite taller. But I don't know. We'll see how it's going to work. I think it'll work out fine. We'll get this deck, porch deck painted. We'll get these steps painted. But not until it dries out. I got a few more tools to put inside and then I'm going to call it a night. So how about we go into some light and end this video? Hey, we do have some light. What do you know about that? We're actually currently in what's going to be my bedroom. Uh, 
I don't know if you guys, well, you guys can't see it, but there's already supplies over here. We're back on the shed to house. I've already got it raised up. No, I do not have a video on that. Um, Ricky and I were doing that. It took us two nights to do it and get it right and get it level. Now we're letting it settle. Then we're going to go back and add some more piers in, some blocks going up, and we'll fine tune level it. And that's why I only put, I don't know, uh, let's see, three, six, nine screws to hold them steps on. So I can take one board off, reach up underneath there, and undo it once I level it to make the steps perfect. I do want them to be a little bit sloped to either the right or the left, and in my opinion, it'll go to the right towards that side of, of the building. Uh, I'll probably slope them about a quarter of an inch. You'll never feel that. But when the rain hits it, the rain will run to one end and go off and keep it from icing up in the wintertime. Thing that northern people think about, things with a father that has trouble walking worries about. So we got it. We're back on the shed to house. It's still going to be a couple weeks before I really get into a lot of videos. I'm trying to think. Let's see. I don't think I've told you guys yet. But this video was all about building the steps. There will be a video coming out explaining to you what we're doing, raising and leveling the building, and why we're raising and leveling the building, because it was level before, just really low. Uh, and then I'll make a video on adding some extra pylons and stuff. That way you guys can kind of see what, what, we're, what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, then we're gonna have a catch up video um, that will show you guys what we've been up to about the last week, two weeks. And then we're gonna have some good Shed to House videos coming up. So you guys go ahead and like and subscribe and please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and we'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Hope you have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. And please, please, please be safe.